This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. They have a huge variety of codes up on their website, reaching from Eternatus, Zacian, League Battle decks, you name it. Use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a European platform that I personally use every day. And you can uh, sell cards as well as buy cards from people all across Europe. And it's very easy to use. So definitely uh, check the website out by using the affiliated link in the description below. You're going to be helping me out a ton. What's up YouTube? It's Zapdogs TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel today. We're going to be playing with Cinderace V Max. Yeah, that's right. This is actually a list I got 10th place out of 258 players. So Cinderace V Max, it is going to be very interesting because this is a 4-4 line of Cinderace. So it's kind of like Turbo Cinderace if I'm being honest. Because there's also 4 Poke Gears in here and 4 Dedenne GX as well as 2 Crobat V. So very Turbo indeed. Even 2 Galarian Zigzagoon to get even bigger numbers. And we have stuff like Fionn to just... Uh, gust up Pokemon on the bench, so sometimes this is going to be very crucial against stuff like ADP. This fella is able to slap 140 damage, but with two Galarian Zigzagoon pings, you can actually get 160, which is able to one-hit KO at the Dene, which is awesome. We have, of course, the evolution here, the Cinderace V-Max, Max Pyro Ball, 170, and the opponent is burned, and also counter is very great. Uh, if this Pokemon was damaged by an attack during your opponent's last turn, this attack does uh, yeah that much more damage to the opponent, so uh, with, of course, combinations like Mellow Llama, this is going to be very interesting for sure. Also, reset stamps in here and four copies of the Giant Heart. So, a very consistent list. Uh, the only thing I'm concerned about is like having four the Danny Jacks in this list. This makes me wonder if how many times you're going to be starting with that. Also, if you have a stadium in play, uh, this fella has a free retreat. So, that's going to be awesome indeed. So, hopefully, we will be able to showcase a great game with Cinderace V Max. This is from the Chill Series 14. And I want to give a huge shout out to Xerneas12352 for piloting this deck to actually getting. Uh, yeah, 10th place, which is actually not bad at all. Out of so many players, we'll see if Sundry's VMAX has something good going for it. Okay, let's see here. We are uh, finding an opponent here. So uh, a 10th place winning list, Cinderace V VMAX. Okay, MC Sun <laughs> is the uh, opponent here. And we're going to see what the opponent will be playing. Hello, they already are so friendly. We're going to say hello back because we are friendly like that. Okay, we start, <laughs> of course... That's what I thought. If you play so many the Danny Jacks, you are going to be starting with the Danny Jacks. It's just as simple as that. Okay, we're up against none other than Zacian, which is, uh, we are able to one-hit KO the Zacian. If we just find a Wilder, we do have, of course, another the Danny Jacks in hand. And we can even Fionn if he uh, switches around to it ADP. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, he's just sticking around with the Zacian. That's fine as it is. The problem is we will have to rely to two uh, the Danny Jacks, and that's always something tricky for sure. Okay, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go with the Great Ball first, see what we have to work with here. There is a Crobat. Yeah, not, not what we need at all. Yeah, we could go for Crobat, I guess. We have a Quick Ball. We're gonna be getting rid of... Yeah, we're gonna be getting rid of the Crobat because we're gonna go with the Danny Jacks afterwards. So let's just uh, get ourselves the good friend Cinderace in the house. And this Cinderace hopefully will be able... If we find Welder, it will be awesome. We do not find Welder, we do have other supports. I'm actually gonna get Melolan in the discard pile here because we're not gonna be needing that at all. We're gonna be attaching here, we're gonna be switching it over and we're gonna be going for the Danny GX and hopefully we will find ourselves a Welder. Yeah, there's the Welder, there's the uh, Giant Heart as well. So I think I will just go with like this. Giant Heart, getting rid of the Poke Gear, getting ourselves two more energies and uh, there is a Fionn in here so maybe we can bust onto that Fionn He's going to be using Alter Creation for sure next turn. We can actually already KO the Zacian and then go for Boss and knock out the Zacian. But I think the, the better uh, solution here is just going for a Fionn. Yeah, I think that is the best bet in my opinion. So let's Fionn slap some damage onto that ADP and then KO it afterwards. So that's going to be our main situation. Get over here. We could have already taken two prize cards, but this is a better approach here. Just the Crimson Legs, Pam, KO, uh, KOing it next turn because 140 with 140 is, of course, the one-head KO. We can even go for uh, more damage with 170. He's going to go for... Uh, we do have uh, stuff like Reset Stamp, so the only thing we are concerned about is like targeting down these Pokemon. He's never going to be able to use Ultimate Ray 
uh, that's for sure. So he can alter creation all he wants, but Cinderace will take the upper hand here by KOing uh, the ADP before it uh, is able to use alter uh, ultimate ray, and then we're gonna be using stuff like reset stamp, so it's gonna be okay. The problem is there's two Dedenny Jacks on our field. But let's just imagine the opponent had a Mawal on the first turn, so it would have been the exact same scenario. It doesn't matter. And we're gonna try and set ourselves up with two Cinderace. He's not gonna be able to one hit KO with Cinderace, so he will need to set up an uh, Azation instantly. And there's also, yeah, there's two Metal Energies in the discard pile, so he technically could go with Metal Saucers, but we'll see what it goes. Okay, one Saucer onto the Zation. He will need to set up two Zations simultaneously, which is gonna be very hard in the prize race because he needs to like attach Saucer onto this guy and then KO these, uh, the, having a boss as well. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, Alter Creation. And after that, we're definitely gonna go for like a reset stamp. Okay, great ball. See what we have to work with here. There's a Galarian Zigzagoon. The Galarian Zigzagoon will be nice because we slap 170 so that Crowback can get, uh, yeah, and I felt like maybe the reset stamp is a little bit better. He always is going to come with an attacker anyhow. So yeah, just take the Crowbat for now and uh, just evolve this one. Attach of turn goes over there. We're gonna be going with a Crowbat. So he, he has more outs, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. We're gonna have two of these. And we have the reset stamp in hand, which is pretty busted. We're gonna go with a Quick Ball, getting rid of an energy because we do have Fire Crystal. And I think I will go for the Galarian Zigzagoon Ping. And the Galarian Zigzagoon Ping will go down onto that one. We do one hit KO Dization right there, so it's gonna be awesome. So here comes the Max Pyro Ball. Yeah, also with the burn damage, we one hit KO him anyhow, but it is fine as it is. All right, what now? We, we do have a Welder and another Cinderace V. He's definitely gonna be KOing something, I think. So if he KOs something, we reset stamp. That's how he goes. Also, he needs energy and saucer right now. See if he uh, has what it takes. If Even if he has energy and saucer, he will also need um, a boss's orders right here because we can give it right back to the opponent with, of course, counter. If he slaps onto damage, onto that. Okay, just K. Yeah, that's where how we go. We one hit KO, everything in the path. And uh, yeah, ADP just has to surrender. That's how good this Turbo Cinderace V deck is. So, Cinderace V Max is very interesting for sure. If you're enjoying the daily Pokemon TCG content, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button as it helps out the channel more than you possibly think. And uh, yeah, with daily content, you're gonna see a lot of funky decks popping up. So as again, a uh, big shout out to Xerneas12352. And uh, this is the next opponent in our path, Manual Pango. Let's see what this fella is playing. Tails never fails. We won the coin flip, this list, I think always wants to go second, just because we have the Danny Jacks, we have a Welder, we just want to strike the first turn, right? We have a Welder, but nothing else to work with, so I think I will have to start with Crobat, unfortunately, and unless we top that Great Ball or Quick Ball, uh, we should be, uh, yeah, getting some stuff. Okay, another Cessation pops up, so I don't know if we're gonna get this uh, one-head KO like we did uh, in the last game, where we are able to strike on the first turn. The only thing we're missing right now is, of course, none other than uh, a quick ball. Or we top deck a Cinderace. We do run four Cinderace V as well as uh, four quick ball, so we'll see. Nope, nothing of that sort. We're just gonna go for a pokey gear. Yeah, here they all are. Look at that, TCG shuffles, what is that? What is that? You're just gonna go for the Danny Jacks, and it's unfortunate. We're gonna have to throw away all these fire energies. We do draw into Cinderace. Then we have the Giant Heart as well. We have the Attach of Turn. We have the Galarian Zigzagoon, which we actually will not need, but let's just go with a Quick Ball instead. We just need to find ourselves, yeah, maybe another Cinderace, so we have two of them set up instantly. We also need to find ourselves a Switch card. Yeah, let's see if we're able to find Welder and Switch. Okay, nothing to work with, unfortunately. We do have boss, not gonna help us out too much here. Not gonna help us out too much. Interesting, no welder as well. Great ball, yeah, and great ball also whiffing it out. Probably gonna have to go for another strategy. I'm, not, I'm gonna save the, f uh, the fire energies because otherwise we were gonna be running out of fire energy. So 
think we're just gonna have to call it a day. Although we could actually use uh, boss's orders this turn to just make him stuck, but that's gonna help him out even further. So let's just call it a day. <laughs> we were not able to find ourselves uh, the first turn attack, which always helps out in this situation. If we're up against ADP, he can still have energy switch and all that magic. And it's probably gonna be ADP. So here is ADP in the house. Interesting for sure. We already have three two prizers on our bench. He has the water type energy slapping down the energy onto the ADP So we had the the version where we we're uh, able to just do some funky stuff and this time around He's gonna go for an alter creation and we will be in a nasty scenario for sure unless he whiffs on boss Which we hope he does. There is no boss in this car pal. There's of course saucer and a researcher, this is not looking good at all. Not even one uh, boss Zorus in his discard pile, so that's gonna be nasty. Even if it wasn't the discard pile, he would still have access. Okay, there's Mawal <laughs> slapping down our Dene here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is the other spectrum of the deck. Right now, we are in a pickle. Even like if we retreat, yeah, we do have Cinderace VMAX, but that's not gonna get us anywhere. It's not gonna get us anywhere. Definitely have to go with this approach <laughs> retreat get slapped damage into then boss That's maybe our solution if he knocks something out we could go for a Fancy old reset stamp. We'll see how it goes. We can if he puts damage onto us. We can like boss this guy But he probably has bosses orders in hand so if he if he bosses this turn it's over That's how it goes Okay, there's boss. That's just well played. There's nothing you can do about that. Like the Mawal was too broken. We were able to destroy ADP once, but uh, in our situation, we would have been better off if we've gotten that first attack off. That's the way uh, Cinderace wins against ADP. Did that didn't happen in this match? But hopefully, we'll see some more matches. The matches go really quick. This is Turbo Cinderace V Max of all things. And uh, yeah, this is just finding Welder smacking damage. The 140 damage, I wonder why there's two Galarian Zigzagoon in here. That could happen because you can actually one-hit KO. Uh, yeah, and uh, the Dene Jax, because with two Galarian Zigzagoons, you get to 160 on the first turn, so that could be a thing. Also 170 with Poison, actually with Burn is 190, so we can get to go to 200. I don't know, why is Galarian Zigzagoon in here? Let me know in the comment section. I'm very curious to see. You guys uh, yeah, have an opinion about that. Okay, we go first. Don't like to see that. We do have Welder and all the good magical stuff. So if this is a Welder build, we will be able to slap 170 on the second turn. We do have Giant Heart. I don't, I'm not gonna slap down Giant Heart if the opponent is playing a fire deck themselves. Also, we are a little bit safe uh, against stuff like Double Blaze GX, unless the opponent is also playing Galarian Zigzagoon. That is going to be interesting. Okay, just a little fella over there. We have Giant Heart, so we are definitely gonna get rid of one of these. We are gonna slap down another one of these fellas. So we have two of them. Attach of turn. Hopefully there's not gonna be a Chaotic Swell. There could be a Chaotic Swell, which is something I'm worried about. So just to be sure we're gonna slap down the giant heart it could be like a fire deck but you never know what you're up against so i guess if there's stadium card in place free retreat so i'm actually gonna set this guy up we do have free retreat anyhow so unless he plays down mar shadow to get rid of this one we're just gonna let this guy take some damage we can mellow lana that as well so he is playing a fire deck as well as to be expected okay it's gonna be baby blounts we do see jirachi in the house Babylons will need to hit for huge damage output. Stellar Wish. I wonder what it is. It's probably going to be Baby Blounds, right? Quick Ball. Could be Firebox as well. Like Turbo Rash's Art. Yes, Quick Ball. Could he go for the Danny GX? Or is he going to go for something else? Okay, there's a Great Ball in there as well. So I'm definitely predicting Baby Blounds here. Is Baby Blounds able to slap 200? Oh, Cremorant. Ooh, that's nasty. Maybe he has Welder, but he doesn't have anything else. Okay, there's another Great Ball coming. Maybe he already has Welder in hand. Is there Baby Blounds in the house? Another Jirachi, okay. Double Jirachi and Cramorant. I don't know how this deck fares against Baby Blounds. If they don't get the one-hit KO, you could counter. You can also go and boss after their Zacian, the Danny Jax or Crobat if they're using that. He's getting rid of another Fire Energy. There's two Fire Energy in the Discard Pal. Will we see the Danny Jax? No, it's just Blown. Gold, classic old Blown. 
probably already, ha already has welder in hand. So that giant heart definitely did not help us out. Attachment, attachment. Okay. I wonder if we just go for the two prize uh, Cinderace here. Yeah, switching it over to another Jirachi. If we go for the two prizers, he needs to already get rid of five energies, but only get some two prize cards. So maybe we only go for one Cinderace V Max. Also, we do have Reset Sam by our side. We, st we still have another one left. So yeah, maybe we should have not gotten uh, rid of that uh, Reset Sam. Maybe he's already gonna slap for enough damage. You never know. No, he's just promoting this one. Yeah, but with the Giant Heart in play, he will definitely get more and more energies and this Blacephalon will go crazy at one point, which is very scary. Okay, will he get enough energies and knock out the big boy? Very interested to see that. He has a Cremorant in hand. This one. We could go for another Welder next turn. I actually want to find something like boss's orders or melolana yeah melolana is not gonna work, work too much in this matchup but just in case let's just get that we're not gonna get our, our dedani gx just yet it's gonna have to wait till next turn max pyro ball we knock him out he has kremarin in hand maybe like does he have fire crystal in hand even though if he had he needs seven energies that's a whole lot to ask for right that's a whole lot to ask for. Do we have our reset stamp in the deck? Yeah, we do. Okay. That's at least something comfortable to think about. Let's go with Max Pyro Ball. <laughs> 340 damage and burned. Okay, we have lots of welders to work with. He promotes Jirachi. If he is not doing anything, we can actually boss that Blown. So he has. Two of these, he has a Cramorant that he gets in the discard pile, so that could be five energies. He still needs to get out of the active position as well. He could actually go for the Danny X if he wants to. Stellar Wish, so what does he have in hand? Two fire energies. We'll see here. Does he get the seven energies that he requires? He could just have a fire crystal, but with fire crystal, he only gets two. Gets rid of a card. He needs seven energies in hand. That's a little, little bit hard to work with. He has the switch card. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six cards in hand. Get rid of the switch. That's five cards in hand. Okay, that's what I thought. Just switching around to Jirachis all day long. He's not gonna get to seven energies, I think. Quick Ball. Quick Ball could turn into the Danny Jax, though. Don't laugh with that. He already used Giant Heart, though, so he will need to draw into lots of Fire Crystals. Or he could go for a Zacian V and drawing cards and just waiting it out. Also getting rid of another energy. There's Oracorio. He just needs to draw into a Fire Crystal and another Switch card. He already has two energies in hand. That's not seven energies. Ooh, did he draw into a lot of fire energies? Who knows? Maybe we should have gotten like Orochorio out earlier. We can have access to bosses or as a knockout Orochorio, which puts us ahead in the prize race though. But knocking out Blown is probably more important. Already gotten rid of like two quick ball, two great ball. He could poke into us. Okay, he's just passing it out. Interesting. And that Fion is interesting to slap that down. We don't want to knock out the Jirachi here. I think I'm just gonna lonely attach here. We're gonna go for Quick Ball, <laughs> getting rid of the Welder, which we don't need right now. I think there's still one left in the deck, right? Yeah, there's still one left. Just gonna get our Dedenis out. He got rid of Cramorant, so that's his own fault. So let's just go for that. It's the Denny Jax time. Still having, hey, <laughs> you have a good deck. Well, thank you. Let's just take this one. If he knocks out the Cinderace, we're gonna go for a big old classic reset stamp. We also can set up another one of these. Although we don't actually need another Cinderace VMAX. We'll see what it brings. We have another, yeah, the reset stamp is in hand. We're gonna get rid of one Cinderace VMAX. We still have another one left in deck, taking two energies here. So we can set this one up later. And this is going to be, <laughs> yo, the max pyro ball, ta-da. Yeah, he can do all he wants. We're gonna reset stamp him. 
we take two prize cards. He's also gonna be taking prize cards with the Blown right now. We could have gone after the Blacephalon right there. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna take, let him take all resources, then we knock out the Blown. He could Welder onto another Blacephalon, so he has another attacker ready. He's a little bit more reset stamp proof that way. Okay, getting rid of the Reshazard, funny enough. Interesting. So this is going to be Blown with more accessibility to uh, other attackers in the form of Reshazard, Cremorant, all those magical fellas, the Firebox, the classic Firebox. I wonder if he's playing, um, yeah, I wonder if he's playing Ordinary Rot. Not a lot of energies in this card pile, though. He has all of them in hand, so he scoops up, goes for the big old Blacephalon. Oh, still not yet. So after we've evolved into Cinder, I'm actually gonna evolve this one into Cinderace VMAX, and I'm actually going to just attack with the Crimson Lag Cinderace V right there. I think that is the correct play, since that way we don't automatically lose. Although if we evolve into the Cinderace VMAX, he will need to draw into like lots of fire crystals to start off with. Already wasted. Two scoop up nets, two switches, so his Jirachis also might not be able to help him. And also, if he resorts to the Dene GX, we are able to knock him out later. I wonder if we go to Cinderace VMAX if he's gonna get. Okay, he does have Ordinary Rod. That makes things a whole lot dif more difficult because now he can get uh, Oracorio out in combination with the Dene GX to draw himself like nine cards in one turn, which is pretty scary. Energy Retrieval as well. And he still has access to two Quibble. Ooh. Yeah, I think maybe the better solution would be to like a reset stamp at the time where he knocks out this Cinderace. But then he could already like establish, yeah, there's his Oracorio once again. Interesting. We could go after the Oracorio again and stamp him to three cards and then hopefully we draw ourselves out of the situation he will still need a lot of cards in order to do that okay there's the switch card that is actually his he still has two scoop up nets left okay here goes the fireball circus 350 everything goes away three cards in hand there's still Giant Heart in play, so he will need two Fire Crystals and a Switch. Two Fire Crystals and a Switch. Interesting. We could still attach here, prolong ourselves the game, but if we attach here and knock this guy out with Reset Stamp, I don't know if we will have another chance at it. He could definitely establish himself on Great ball. Let's see here. Yeah, we have another Dedenny Jacks. That's funny. Two Dedenny Jacks. Definitely need to have every last bit of them. Okay. Even a Giant Heart. Getting rid of a Fion. Two Fires. There's still Fire Crystal in here. That's interesting. Maybe we leave them in the deck. Although we definitely will need the Fire Crystal later. Okay, our second boss's orders is in the prize cards. That makes our thinking process a whole lot more difficult than I imagined. Let these guys still be in there. There's nothing we need from these cards, to be honest. So we attach here. Yeah, we're gonna have to do it a different way. Hopefully we get the, the boss's orders from the prize cards. That's what we need to hope for. Here comes Reset Stamp. Reset Stamp to a low hand size. Evolving into that one. Manual shenanigans. The Danny Jacks. We have another the Danny Jacks. Not gonna matter too much here. Acrobat. Yeah, all of these fellas popping up now. Don't need any of them, but we're gonna see if he gets the uh, additional. We just need to find boss from the prize cards right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is turning and close. It's turning and close. Okay. 
if our Cinderace, if our little Cinderace V survives in this upcoming onslaught, we could still do some funky stuff because we have a huge amount of HP, right? If he gets rid of five energies simultaneously, he still has access to the Danny Jacks, by the way, unless it's priced. There's 11 energies in the discard pile, by the way. Also one retrieval. He probably still has access to a lot of crystals. We have boss in hand. We have access to the Danny Jack. So there's a Cinderace V left in the deck. We'll see how it goes. This is quite the close game for sure. Enjoying myself. Quite interesting indeed, right? He has the welder. There's the scoop up net. Okay, what does he have left? He has one scoop up net left and one switch. He has one blown in discard. He has welder in hand. He finds another welder, so double welder. Lots of cards in hand. He could go for the Danny Jacks, but then he loses all of his resources, including the double um, the double welders. Yeah, and I think he has only la he only has one more switch out. Yeah, he only has one more switch out. There is the quick ball. So he finds the quick ball. If he doesn't find switch, we're good. If switch is prized, it would be awesome. Don't know if that's gonna be possible. And like in worst case scenarios, if our Cinderace V sees the, sees the discard pal, we can still use Fionn. So he's stuck because he doesn't have switch. Yeah, that's an interesting approach. He only has one more switch. If he uses the switch right now, we could be technically uh, making him stuck with Fionn and uh, get, buying ourselves a turn if we don't have our stuff ready. 11 cards left in his deck. Attachment going out to the Blown. He has five, six cards in hand. Does he find his switch card? Does he find his switch card? If not, we can potentially win this game onto the Orcorio. Okay, he does find a switch card. That's a bummer. <laughs> We're gonna get punished here. The good news is yeah, he can still attach and retreat technically. Yeah, we only have one boss, so that's pretty, pretty interesting. Two welders, probably, like there's the Danny Jacks. Fire crystals in this card? No, oh, there's one fire crystal, that's interesting. Also, Zation is gone. You know, there's the one other fire crystal. Also, he put back the uh, Cremorant, so we can also get Cremoranded over here. Another fire crystal. He's gonna be taking this KO. Ah, this is such a close game, but against the one price deck that one up trades very nicely, it is very, very bad indeed. Yeah, Mewtwo putting back a Welder. That's to be as to be expected. I wonder what we should do. I wonder what we should do. He doesn't have a room for Cremorant right now. How many energies in here? Let's say he has. I don't know what he has, that's the problem. That is a huge problem. Cinderace VMAX over here. Do we have access to more switches? If we knock this guy out, he just fire crystal welders and uses... We're gonna try and this out differently. Does he have boss and discard pal? No, he does not. No, that's also a win con for him. If he finds his boss, he can boss our fellas, but he's gonna top deck a welder. We could technically knock this guy out, but as mentioned, he will just... Also, he needs to get out of the active position here. So with this in mind, he has 13 energy. He has three energies left and a fire crystal. Fire crystal could be priced. We don't know that. We could boss, leave this guy stuck but then he can still attach and retreat and we will not be able to get the one hit KO, which is bad. Very, very bad. Yeah, no boss party, unfortunately. Yeah, we could boss, but we need to welder here and just hope he doesn't have what it takes. He already has welder, he has energies. He needs to get his fella out of the active position as well. So maybe we're a little bit in luck with that. 
Wig ball. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have another boss, otherwise we can just wait it out. No energies in sight. That's bad. That's very, very bad. <laughs> okay, what to do now? What to do now? Poke year? We have the welder here. Oh yeah, we have Mellow Llama. I think we're gonna go with a different approach. He's probably gonna deck out at one point. He could keep on blazering. We have Mellow Llama. We just need to find our... Yeah, we could go for an um, Acrobat play, technically. Or not, or <laughs> just have to wait it out. The Fire Crystal is what we need, otherwise we will never get an attack off. We do have Switch and Mellow Llama, so I'm just gonna pass it out. Five cards left. He could go for a big attack, but he only has access to uh, 300 damage output. Unless he has a boss, then we're done for. Very interesting deck for sure, the Cinderace V Max deck. We could have Fionned, technically. Yeah, we can never deck out that way. Yeah, he gets rid of a Blown. He gets an energy. I wonder if he's gonna slap for a lot of damage. Probably not, right? He just wants us to knock him out. If he doesn't attack, we could go for Fion. He doesn't have any switches left, so he always needs to go for switch outs. <laughs> he already attaches to the Jirachi very cl cleverly. That means only two energies. Okay, he's just retreating to Jirachi. That is very peculiar. Maybe he wants us to knock out this uh, Jirachi, but I'm not gonna do it. He doesn't have scoop up nets. He doesn't have anything anymore. So we're just gonna pass it out. And we can, oh, he has boss. That makes things a whole lot more difficult for us because he has access to one, two, two energies and a fire crystal. Yeah, that's scary. He needs to get an energy onto his Jirachi to retreat as well. So that means he has access to a fire crystal and that's all there is to it. <laughs> like two energies here. That's 14 energies, unless he has more energies than I think. Yeah, 14 energies. That means two in deck and a fire crystal. So he could attach two here. Probably will have to go with the, the Fion here. So he doesn't, he is not able to do his dirty works. Yeah, a whirlpool section before he bosses this. Let's Fion, because this is the same approach here. He can promote whatever he wants. And we're just gonna pass it out. Because right now, I think, if we play this out perfectly, he has access to one attachment and a fire crystal, right? Maybe there's a fire energy prized. Just maybe. I think his, if there's one fire energy prized, we're done, we're getting it. Or his fire crystal is prized. There's two options here. Also, <laughs> well played. I did it. Woo! That was close. <laughs> He's stuck. Don't ever attack when you know the opponent is almost decked out. That's that's how it goes. Yeah, he has the fire crystal, but if he welders, he decks out. So he cannot welder and boss. Unless all of these cards have all energies in that. And all that. I don't think these all are all energies unless he's playing the 19 energy build. And even so, if he's playing the 19 energy build, he would still not be able to KO our Cinderace VMAX. I think. Or am I wrong? Is this guy playing more energies than I thought? One, two. He's decked out. He needs seven energies in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in hand. Retreating. Does he have it? Does he have it, really? Nope. <laughs> nope. That's what I thought. This is turning out perfectly. Okay. 
Now I am ready to knock out the blounts. Oh yeah, we could knock out the blounts, but we just pass it out. That's how like strategically you can win games. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of Cinderace V Max. As you saw, we won against none other than ADP. We won against Baby Blounts. It is able to just keep up in the meta game. Definitely uh, an awesome deck for sure. Big shout out to Xerneas12352. And uh, yeah, check out my sponsor, SpokedownStore.com for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. They have everything up on stock. Looking for Cinderace codes? They have it up on stock. Looking for Eternatus codes, Zacian codes. Uh, maybe you're looking for something else. Lucario, Mel Metal, Mewtwo, uh, Picaram, League Battle decks. They have everything up on stock. You can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. Thanks again for tuning in this, uh, yeah, today. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Uh, if you enjoy the content, you know what to do. Thank you very much. Peace.